Okay, so you should have seen that uh, part B appears quite frequently for vectors. Yes, I've returned everything that I have received. Okay, so um, part B. Now, class, please focus. State two facts about the vectors DB and NB. So most likely in the earlier part of the question, you were already told to find the vector db and the vector nb. Okay, so for this particular question, I, I'm just going to randomly write down an expression for db. Let's say it is 2u plus 3v, for example. And then nb over here is equal to u plus 3 over 2v. For example only, uh, okay, at this point, how should we approach part B? This is the standard approach. I've seen uh, varying um, presentations from your work. Many of them are not very suitable. You're not answering the question properly. You may be telling me things like the magnitude of this one is twice of the other one and so forth. Before all those, I need to state the relationship between db over here and nb first so i need an equation one in terms of the other 2nb equals db 2nb equals to db okay do you all agree with this yeah. i need to see this only when you have this then you can tell me the rest now what are the two things that two things and sometimes three uh, sometimes three things that you can always tell me about two vectors when we ask you about it okay so um, we can consider are they collinear okay okay hang on uh. are they collinear so to prove to prove whether two vectors are collinear we need to consider two parts what is the first thing is that a common point? Common yeah. point. Then the next thing that we have to consider is are they parallel? Okay, so this is one thing that we can tell about two vectors. What is another thing that we can tell? Magnitude. We can compare magnitude. The next thing we can compare is are they parallel in other words same direction or opposite direction but we see that um, over here this is found inside one of the properties for collinear right subset. yeah it's a subset okay so whenever you see that three points are collinear you must know the difference between points and vectors huh? three points are collinear versus two vectors are collinear. Are they referring to the same thing? Three points being collinear. One, two, three, A, B, C. If these three points are collinear, and we can also tell that vector A, B is also collinear with vector A, C, as well as B, C, so on and so forth, right? So collinear can refer to two different types of things. Are you talking about three points or are you talking about two vectors? Okay, we can use the same term collinear for all for these two cases now in this case they are asking about two facts about the vectors db and nb so three things we consider collinear magnitude and are they parallel or not in this case are they collinear are they collinear these two yes. vectors yes. based on my example given over here do they met do they have a common point yes. yes they have a common point are they parallel the fact that you can write this down the fact that you can write this down one in terms of the other with a scalar multiple that means a number times a vector equals to another vector it means that they are parallel already okay they have the same direction or it could be uh, directly opposite direction so based on this after you've written down the key step you list down the first point since and b and db are parallel and they have a common 
point B. This is the common point B. Then the two vectors for here, N, B, N, D, B, lie on the same line. Or we can say they are collinear. This is one fact that we can say. But deep down we know that actually there are, there are two facts over here. First, first is that they are parallel, then after that there is a collinear, whatever. Okay, now this is one fact. We consider this as one fact. Okay, the next fact that you can tell me will be, what will it be? What is the next fact that you are going to tell me? Magnitude. Magnitude. Are you going to talk about being parallel again? No. No, you shouldn't because it is already subsumed under your first fact. Now, how do we write our second fact about the magnitude? How do we write the second fact? You copy down exactly this, but you remove the arrow. Done. Look, 2NB equals to DB. You leave it like this. You don't go and give me anything extra. Based on this, I know you're comparing. 2 times the magnitude of NB is the magnitude of DB. So these are the two facts. Do you understand? To tell whether A, B, and C are collinear, we need to satisfy two things. Two vectors are parallel and they have a common point. Now between the point A, B, and C, how many vectors can you write from these three points? What are the three vectors? A, C, A, B, and B, C. These are the three vectors you can write, isn't it? Actually, are there more? Ah, we can go the other direction also. So we have um, C A. Okay, so these are the six vectors that we can possibly write. You choose any two from either this side or this side, depending on what direction you want to work with. You choose any two vectors. Any two, any two. Will there be a common point? Yes, right, you can go and try it out, randomly choose. There will be a common point. So your objective is to randomly choose to, for example, AC and AB. Write down AC in terms of AB. Equals to K times of AB. As long as you can write it down in a scalar multiple. And you state there is a common point. So let's pretend that we have done it. Let's say AC equals to 2 times of AB. Okay, for example, you have written this down. Then it is time to conclude. Since AC is parallel to AB and A is a common point, then A, B, C are collinear. Okay? This is another variation of the question I've got one more one more variation suppose we have a b the vector a b is um, u plus v I have another vector c d 2 u plus 2 v okay so these are the two vectors state two facts state two facts about A, B, and C, D. No, no, wait, wait. You still need to write out a key. Look at what I've always been doing. Whether it is on... Whether it is this particular question, I write out 2 N, B equals to D, B. From there, I state my observations or the relationship. In the next question, to ask whether they are collinear, I still write this equation. From there, I proceed to talk about my conclusion. The third type of question over here, state two facts about A, B, and C, D. What do you think you should write first? Equation. What is the equation? 2 A, B arrow plus C, D arrow. You still have to write this first. Okay? Now that you have written this, what are your two facts? First fact? 2 A, B equals C, D. 2 A, B equals C, D. You just remove the arrows. What are you referring to over here? Magnitude. You're referring to magnitude, okay? There is another aspect of vectors. We saw magnitude, there is direction, right? Vectors have magnitude and direction. So we have compared the magnitude already. Are you ready to compare the direction? Yes. What will you say about the direction? They are not. They are parallel, but they are not. 
Okay, wait, wait. So magnitude done already. Direction. What is the conclusion of direction? They are parallel. They are parallel. Since to AB equals to CD, then AB is parallel to CD. Okay. It's time to stop over here. Finish. Don't go and tell me extra stuff. Although, deep down, you know, what else do you know? A, B, the vector A, B, and the vector C, D. Are you trying to tell me that they are not collinear? Yes, they are not collinear. Who is certain that they are not collinear? So, does it the same line if they are like a gap? That's what I need you all to think about. Does this... Does this prove that they are not collinear? It doesn't mean that, right? Well, it could look like this. A, B, over here. Maybe I have a point E. Uh, no. Point C, then point D. No, wait. C, D, two times of A, B is equal to C, D. So C, D must be longer. Okay? This could be A, B, then C, D. Maybe they can be drawn up. So it doesn't mean that they are not collinear when they do have a common point. Do you understand? So don't go and you stop here. I don't go and tell me. Uh, uh, since they do have a common point, therefore they are not collinear. No, you cannot conclude that. We don't know. We have missing information over here. Okay, so that's uh, what I want to tell you for vectors. Are there any questions?